Okay, hello! Um, I'm back for another YouTube video. This video is going to be about top 10 shows I enjoy watching. So, I'm going to tell you what they are and what I, what I like about them. And I really hope you enjoy this video because it came with a lot of thought and dedication. And I'm bored. Mostly because I'm bored. So, please enjoy this video. The first show I'm going to talk about is Bob's Burgers. Okay, so the the way I found out about this is my friend, she watches it. Two of my friends watch it. And they told me it was really funny. And you know, one day it was first before I had, well I had Netflix, but this was before they had Bob's Burgers on Netflix. So... Um, I went on Hulu, and I signed up for Hulu, and I looked up Bob's, Bur Bob's Burgers, and I no, okay. So I, you know, I watched it, and it's actually pretty good. My favorite character is Louise and Tina, because Louise is me. You know, she's always, she's really outspoken, and she likes to speak her mind, and I, I tend to do that a lot. And Tina, I, it's when I'm nervous, and I, 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 um, when I am nervous around people, I'm like her, I don't go like that, oh, but when she does that, it's pretty freaking hilarious. And just like, the, the cor coronation of the entire show is really thought out. And Lu Louise's mom, Linda, is like amazing because she's just perfect and she's really funny. And Bob is, you know, the typical American dad that owns a restaurant that wants to keep everything in order. And Gene is just that weird brother, <laughs> so to speak. So that's the reason why I like Bob's burgers. The second show that I'm going to talk about is Grey's Anatomy. Okay, so I guess this show started like 12 to 13 minutes blah, 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 years ago, but I did not know about it. Actually, my dad's ex-girlfriend really liked it. She would always talk about it, and her, 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 um, her favorite character was McDreamy. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I should watch this show. But I didn't know how because I was like, what, five? Maybe six? I don't know. Well, I did make my first email at six. But I didn't know how to work a TV. So, plus there was no, like, Xfinity On Demand. And this was, like, in the early 2000s. So, it was basically, you know, dinosaur age. But, like, a little... Like, technology was just starting to get a little better okay so i'm st i watched it on netflix it was like three months ago in may i started and i'm on season 12 i haven't watched it because i've been watching bob's burgers a lot but once i'm done with bob's burgers i'm gonna start go back to start watching Grey's anatomy okay let me tell you Grey's anatomy is great because every time the episode ends it gives you a giant cliffhanger and i'm not talking about like any tiny cliffhanger it's like a huge cliffhanger every single episode they kill it and they make a cliffhanger and it makes me cry even though it's on netflix and and you know after i watch season 12 of, of Grey's anatomy i'm gonna be really mad because i have to wait until fall to the season 13 season and that's very sad for me so my favorite characters on um Grey's anatomy was like when the first started it was Karev Bailey Richard uh, McDreamy a little bit not a fan of McDreamy um I really like Karev I'm sorry he's really cute but um I didn't like Izzy at all she was really annoying she no I'm, I'm glad they killed her off but I'm really sad because they killed off George. He was a really cool guy. And then as the show went on, I like Callie. And I like her lover. I forgot her name. Um, I like Mark a little bit. He was kind of annoying too. 
But I just love the fact that every episode they kill it and their writers, whoever the writers are, they're amazing because they know how to keep a show going. Because I guess like I said, every episode you ever like you would ever see in Grey's Anatomy seasons one through eleven, you will be amazed because every time it ends, it's a big ass cliffhanger. That's why I love Grey's Anatomy. Third TV show I'm gonna talk about is The Simpsons. Okay. This is a show that everyone has grown up to love and cherish, but me in particular, when I used to be at my father's house, I would always turn on the TV and watch The Simpsons. The Simpsons. Like, it's really, it's the fact that it's been going on for 20 plus years is just amazing because I love that show. I mean, I say I love a lot of shows, but this one is really cool. My favorite characters on this show is Maggie, Bart, Lisa, Homer, not so much Marge. I like the Quickie Mark guy, Boo. Uh, yeah, his name is Boo, right? Yeah. Uh, Ned Flanders, the really fat one that. Oh, Ned! No. Yeah, that's, that's the that's the neighbor. Oh my God, Ralph! No, Ralphie is the police. I love the police officer. Uh, Chief Wiggum. Uh, Ralph Wiggum, the bully. I forgot his name. Um, the two sisters. I think something Selma and Velma, something like that. Um, I need to watch it again. But I, the reason why I like this show is because I, um, grown to love this show, and. It's been amazing watching it. I really wish it was on Netflix because I would watch all like like any like I understand that people with Netflix and chill and binge, but seriously, if Netflix are you, if you're hearing this, please put all 20 plus seasons on Netflix for The Simpsons because I need to binge watch. Because I tried looking on Amazon and it doesn't let me buy it unless it's from another like you know, a dealer, not dealer, because it's not like a drug, so I don't want to say that, but another carrier that has it, so please put Simpsons on The fourth show I'm going to talk about is Spongebob Squarepants. Okay, if you're a 90s baby, like a late 90s baby, you know how much you would have to love Spongebob. Because you grew up with him and with his yellow Porsche figure, and you're gonna learn to love him. You, you learn to love him and his dumb friend Patrick. Patrick is me. So I think like a lot of things are me, but he's me because you know he forgets stuff. He's like a starfish Dory, like kind of like that, but yeah. Huh. So my favorite characters are SpongeBob, Pearl, Patrick, Squidward, Mr. Krabs. Um, hmm, who else? Just every character on that show is really, I like it, it's really cute. I like the old Spongebob more than the new one because, you know, I think they're running out of material. I heard it's getting cancelled, that as a matter of fact, but I don't know if that's true or not, but I hope it doesn't. But it's, it's cool because they're, the voice actors are the same that's been there since 1999 when the show first came out. So, those are the reasons why I love me some Spongebob. And it's really cute, and Sandy's cute too. The fifth show I'm gonna talk about is RuPaul's Drag Race. Okay, the f the way I found this show is that my dad's other ex girlfriend, like it was I think it was like season three at the time, and I watched it because there was like there was like a door that led to the backyard, and there was like a little box TV, and they would always come on. I'm like. What is this show? It's really interesting. So it's basically, it's a show about men who like to dress up as women, and it's a competition to be like the next drag race superstar. RuPaul is cute, not like in a like an attractive way. Well, I guess so, not really, but um, his he has quirks and all these you know things that he says like. You're going to lip sync for your life. <laughs> and it's really funny because like some of the drag queens hate each other and it's funny to see them fight and argue. And the challenges are really cool. Like in season four, 
with the Halloween challenge, Sharon Needles pulled that thing off with the zombie thing. That was really cool. I'd like to see that. And just all the challenges are really different. Like each season, they're really different. They're not, they never repeat. So I think they're on season eight now. They're gonna start season eight. I don't know because now, right now, they're showing Revealed, which I'm gonna talk about next. The season seven of Revealed. So. And I like the guest stars. I really wish they would bring like more um, guest stars, but I guess like budget cuts and everything, and the celebrity schedule is all messed up. So yeah, I like um, what's his name? The, um, I like Lucian Piani. He's cool. Uh, my favorite drag queens from the season. Let's start from season one. I don't have a favorite for that one. Season two, I like Raven and Juju B. Season three. I like Raja. Season 4, I like Sharon Needles and um, TV, not really. Uh, Latrice Royale. From season 5, I like Jinx Monsoon, Alaska. I hate Detox and Roxy. They were so mean. And season 6, I like I Love Bianca. I love Bianca. And I like Alyssa Edwards and Coco Montreal. I really wanted them to fight, like argue, argue, but you know, I guess they didn't want to. And then season 7, I like the Violet Trotsky and Pearl. And Miss Fame. And season 8, I like... I am so mad because I did not want Bob the Drag Queen to win. No. I wanted... I wanted... Oh my god, I forgot. But it was one of them. I forgot their names. I want Thorgy to win. I wanted her to win. The sixth show I'm going to talk about is RuPaul yeah, Revealed. Yeah. RuPaul Drag Race Ru Revealed. Okay, so basically what Revealed yeah. is, is like, they're going to play the season yeah, again, but the difference is there's like little bubble bubbles of facts about each drag queen or about the show in general, which is really cool. The reason why I like watching that is because sometimes they even show like behind the scenes and they show clips that weren't shown in the regular season and um yeah just all that and like i like to learn about new things so i like learning about i like learning about how each drag queen got their star or anything that you could think of or and they even talk about the judges too so i mean it's okay but it's a good thing to watch okay I just want to apologize for saying that it's not like I didn't do the rest of the video, but I'm going to get right to it. I'm sorry, I had things to do. But, um, the seventh show that I'm going to talk about is Gay for Play. Gay for Play is basically a family feud. It's like the same, you know, concept as a family feud. And it's hosted by RuPaul. And the questions are based off things like um, movies and actresses, and you have to watch it. To sh that's gay for play to show your inner gay. So it's a really cool show. It's really funny. I like it. My when I watched it, I don't know if it's still going on. I don't know if it like ended or not. But um, <coughs> but um, my my favorite guest stars were. Jinx Monsoon, Manila Luzon, which is two contestants on RuPaul's Drag Race, Amber Rose, and I don't know who else, but it's, and then it's basically a gay version of Family Feud. My eighth favorite show is Love and Hip Hop New York, which is the original Love and Hip Hop. Okay, the, uh, the reason why I like this show, oh look, representing, <laughs> but um, I really enjoy the characters, I won't say characters because they're real people, but like the dynamic of the show, the drama, the constant bombshells, well I wouldn't say that because every love and hip hop, you know, um, franchise has bombshells, but this one's the best of the bombshells. Um, I hear they're even doing a love and hip hop Houston, which Johnny Blaze, which was on Love and Hip Hop New York, was on, and now she's gonna be on Love and Hip Hop Houston. More to that to come, about that to come. And there's also, they're making a Love and Hip Hop Miami. So, 
We get the best of both worlds, huh? But I like um Yandy, Mariah Lynn, Ra Ali, Remy Ma, Richie D a little bit. What's his name? The the bald guy. I forgot his name. Oh my god. Okay, I like him. Uh, I can't think of any others. But the past, I like Sin and Erica Mena. I was I was really heartbroken when they broke up last. Not this season, but the before. Season five, I think it was. They broke up, and I'm really sad because I like it. I like them too. They were like cool together. And I like I like Kimbella, Emily. So much. So my Reese. I wish like the original cast. Besides, yeah, yeah, like though the original cast was still on, but I guess not. But the only person that's still here from the original original cast was before Erica left. It was Erica, Richie D, and Yandy. Everybody else left. Each season, it's new like new people, which is really annoying. But we learned to love him, love them. So yeah. TV show I'm gonna talk about is The Big Bang Theory. Okay. How I found this out is my friend showed it to me, actually. It's about these two people, two nerds that live together and should name Sheldon and Leonard. And I love them. Like, they're like the typical... They have like a brother, little brother, big brother relationship, except one of them doesn't, you know, understand things real well, like me. I'm Sheldon. And he's really funny. The, he's... What he says, his catchphrase, buzzing gut, like this, like to scare people is funny, or to trick people is funny. Um, Penny, she's like, you know, she does move from Nebraska, she's the new girl, and then she falls in love with Leonard, and Sheldon gets upset because now he doesn't have his roommate anymore. But then he meets Amy, yeah, Amy Farrah Fowler, and then he doesn't know how to quite love. But I think there was like an episode they first had sex. I'm not sure. I haven't watched it in a while. But um, I have like all seasons, one through seven, I think. Or yeah, one through eight or something like that I'm on DVD. I have to go back and watch it, but it's really funny. And Raj doesn't know how to speak to women. That is mostly every man in the entire world, trust me. So, and Howard is just that weird sex freak. But you learn to love all, the, all of them. And they go on these crazy adventures and they go to the comic book store and they go to conventions and, you know, they work at a university. So that's why they have that typical nerd thing. That's why I love Big Bang Theory. Not the tenth show and the last show I'm going to talk about is Archer. Okay, so my friend watches this show and she really likes it. So, you know what? I looked on Netflix, like, now in the summertime because I have time now because before I didn't because I was trying to finish the year off so I went on Netflix and I saw this show and it was Archer and I'm like oh my gosh my friend talks about this a lot and she really likes it so I watch it and it's really funny it's about this guy it's voice is voiced by Bob from Bob's Burgers H.J. Jonathan or something I don't know what his name is but he's, it's a really funny show, and the dynamic of the show, and, you know, he's like this bachelor, or, or this high spy agent, and, you know, it's, it's a, it's a, really a cartoon version of Casino Royale, if you would, and they go on these crazy missions, and, and, you know, it's, it's I haven't watched it, because, like I said before, I've been focused on finishing Bob's Burgers, but when I go back to it, I'll let you guys know. I think I'm on season four, and there's like six seasons or five seasons. But um, it's a really cool show. Say thank you for watching another YouTube video of mine. I'm sorry, it's really long. I I talk a lot, so um, I really hope you enjoyed this video, and I look forward to seeing you guys in the next one. So thank you for watching. I'll leave my own, I guess, like I always do. I'm gonna leave all my social media right here. So thank you for watching. I really appreciate it.